2023 is wild, y'all. A Jetsons-like fantasy will soon be a present-day reality. The FAA actually giving its stamp of approval to Olaf, uh, the Model A drivable flying car. So for $300,000, you can pre-order one right now. And I want to bring in Jim DeCovney. He's the CEO of Olive to talk about this, uh, just this out of this world machine. Um, Jim, first off, thanks for joining the show and congrats uh, for bringing something like this to the market. Thank you. Thanks for hosting us. Yeah. How, how do you feel right now that this is a first? Right. Uh, first of all, it's a limited uh, certification. It's a special award season certification, but it does allow us to fly. It does allow us to exhibit uh, this car to people. So it is a big step for us. It's a small step, but it's a big step for us. Yeah, I saw somebody say it's one big step for cars. It's one small step for planes. Um, Jim, I'm actually a pilot myself. When I first saw this headline, I thought, wait, 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 wait. You're going to have to break down these features for me especially with takeoff it's vertical takeoff right so is that just yes, massive sir. amounts of high powered fans or how does it work yes yeah, so on the ground it looks like a regular car it drives like a regular car it's a regular uh, electric vehicle uh then it vertically takes off um from any spot which you're allowed to vertically take off and then it flies forward if you need to fly uh, long distances it transitions to what called biplane mode while the person stays uh, parallel to the ground. And for efficiency, it will able to go like over 100 miles in a biplane mode. Otherwise, you can drive and whatever you need to fly or something, you can just go vertically take off, fly, and then continue driving. Unbelievable. Did you mention altitude? How, how high can you take this thing? Uh, you can go as high as you need to until you need a pressurized cabin, but I would not advise to do that because, again, the energy efficiency here is an issue. So you probably want to go as high as you need to, fly over something, and then continue driving. Or if you need to long dis uh, if you need to go long distances in a biplane mode, you do want to go high and then uh, transition in the biplane wow. mode and fly. I tell you what, this is just too cool. This is futuristic, but it's really happening now. What special training does one need to operate or drive it? Do you need a pilot's license? I mean. What goes into being able to get the keys for this thing and take it off on ground or, or, or sky? That's a good question. So at this point, we don't know what I can tell you what we're hoping for. We're hoping for you do not need a full pilot license because it's very easy to operate, very simple. That being said, you need to abide by all the laws on the ground and all the laws in the air. So obviously some training will be required. Uh, we're really hoping for it's going to be a really easy training. I was going to say, talking to air traffic control is kind of an art of its own. I was, I was curious if that would be involved in this or not. Um, the car is 100% electric and can exist in urban infrastructure. So uh, take us into your mind. How do you envision flying cars integrating into our current lifestyles? Right, there's a long-term vision and a short-term vision. So the long-term vision, we want to slowly replace most of the cars and make sure that people can actually take off and move people faster. It's kind of a similar way if you think about it as cars replaces horses, right? Because it was not efficient way to travel. Same way we're trying to replace cars with flying cars. The short term, obviously, nobody's going to fly above New York, uh, Los Angeles or San Francisco, yeah. I think, in, in mass. Uh, it's going to be slower adoption, uh, both legally and seeing how customers adapt. And it's kind of going to be incremental going from the short term vision, as we talked about, to the long term vision as uh, most science fiction imagined. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll skip the major cities for now. We'll, we'll take it for a, uh, a whirl over like rural Texas or something first. Um, hey, Jim DeCovney, congrats once again. Thank you for joining the show and uh, can't wait to follow all your success. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you. Of course. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.